Hello, I'm Marion Keys, and I have a new book out. It's called The Brightest Star in the Sky, and it's my 10th novel. And up until now, you know, people have always said to me, um, which of your novels is uh, your favourite? And I've always been quite affronted by this because I think, you know, uh, you can't ask me to pick a favourite one because it'll be like asking a mother to pick her favourite child, even though like she might actually have a favourite child, but she's not going to tell you. But this is, without doubt, my favourite. I am just so happy with this book. Um, it's It's got a really lovely optimistic feel to it. It's set in a house in Dublin. It's one of these old Georgian houses that have been converted into four flats. And in the top floor flat is this woman called Katie who works in the music industry and she spends her days fighting off has-been rock stars and wondering how much cheesecake you'd need to eat in order to eat yourself to death. Um, and in the flat below her is this fabulous woman called Lydia. She's young and she's a female taxi driver and she fears nothing. And she's the woman I want to be when I grow up. And also sharing that flat are two uh, very muscular, very good looking poles. Uh, there's a lot of sexual tension in that flat. Um, the one below that is uh, this fella called Fionn and he's a gardener and he, um, he mistrusts hygiene and he prefers the company of parsnips to people. But he looks like a fairy tale prince, like it's all in the jaw and the hair. And he's just been given his own gardening show on television. And then on the ground floor flat is uh, Matt and Maeve, and they are very much in love. And they uh, stave off despair by doing random acts of kindness. And like all my books, The Brightest Star in the Sky is a comedy about something very serious. Um, but it's, it's got a lovely uplifting feel to it. Um, I mean, I suppose I acknowledge that um, you know, we are all imperfect human beings and, and that we're all pretty much trying our best. Um, but that it's possible, you know, to, to, to coexist with our broken bits and to coexist joyously with our broken bits. So I really hope you enjoy it. Thanks a million.